You're easy to spot. <laughs> Are you going to Arum Alley? A new arrival like you should get a tour guide. Uh huh. As a renowned doctor, I regularly go out for street food. Uh, after I'm done treating my patients, that is. Anyway, basically, I'm an expert on all the culinary delights the Shinjo has to offer. So, uh, hire me as your tour guide already. I won't charge anything for my services, except for food, of course. <laughs> And if you get into medical trouble, gastrointestinal discomfort, sprained ankle, yada yada, you'll have a professional doctor right by your side. That's a two in one deal. It's called an all inclusive package. Huh? Hurry up! Do you want the snacks to sell out? We've reached our destination, Aram Alley. Of course, the main feature of this tour is the endless selection of tasty delicacies. <laughs> the folk dishes at Spices Supreme are a must try. This is the only place on the lawful you can find them. <laughs> so, now that we're here. Recommend? I think you mean, I'd like to treat you to some Shinjo delicacies. Let's start with the snack stands. You can browse around for a bit. I'll go find us a seat while you make up your mind. <laughs> I should see what the other customers have to say about the food here. I'm counting on you to go buy all the snacks. Don't keep me waiting too long. Ah, <sighs> same great taste. Oh, interested in the food? In Aram Alley, there's no such thing as a bad food stall. Just close your eyes and pick one at random. My name's Shaohan. I'm originally from Aram Alley. But this is my first visit in a long time. When I was away, I'd stay up at night reminiscing about the flavors and aromas of this place. Are you feeling adventurous or cautious? If you're really feeling adventurous, you could try some mung bean soda. I'd describe the taste as... unique. And a little sour. It's best to drink it in big gulps and let it fizzle in your stomach. That's a great feeling. Travel guide needs an update. Oh, you want to know which snack stalls I recommend around here? Well, you've come to the right person. <laughs> it's my first time here too, but I've tried everything. 
Uh, there's a lot of things here that I've never even heard of. I was kind of scared to try them. Mm-hmm. I'd recommend the tusk, perhaps. Uh, they're very similar to cake rolls, but the hawker said they're made from something called, well, <laughs> tusk burr. What do you suppose that is? <laughs> I'll admit I was hesitant to try it at first, but once I worked up the courage and took a bite, oh, it turned out to be just another delicious snack. Very unique tastes, a uh, crispy, melt-in-the-mouth type texture, too. You know, the flavor kind of reminded me a lot of stuff I'd eaten before, but I couldn't put my finger on anything. That's the magic of tusk fur, I guess. Uh, do these people know nothing about the value of brand exposure? That's marketing 101. Well, I can help you with that. I'm known around here as the Forager. I venture into all manner of culinary establishments to taste test their food. <laughs> the seller at this food stall won't let me do any taste testing because I'm not a paying customer. <laughs> well, if they don't want free publicity, that's their loss. Ah. With my discriminating taste as your guide, you'll never go wrong. Give the berry pheasant skewers or sun lotus cake a try. Oh, a visitor from afar. May I ask you a question? Do you like Arumali? Glad to hear. We always try to treat visitors from outside well. I hope you don't mind me prattling on, but since you're an outworlder, are you familiar with the IPC? Uh, do you know if it has a good reputation? That's true, and they made it much more convenient to exchange Strail and credits. Well, I can't just leave you here empty-handed. Take a look at the menu, order whatever you want. It's on the house. Alrighty. So, is there anything good? <gasps> Fantastic! Hey, how did you know my favorite food? Great, but it looks like you only brought enough for one person! What am I supposed to do? Yeah, I'd feel bad asking for more, too. <laughs> ah, it's the Dragon Lady. Here, I'll get you another serving. No need to be shy. <laughs> Thank you, Auntie. I can hardly move! I haven't even gotten around to business yet! I wanted to stop by Elegant's Pagoda to buy some medicine jars while I'm out! Come on! Let's go! Hey! 
What's going on at the dock? <sighs> Some of the dock workers got into an argument with the IPC folks. Watch your words! No need to be aggressive here. How about we go see what's happening at the dock? When did you decide to show up, little Miss Feisty? How is this any of your business? As a cloud knight, I can't just sit back and do nothing when I see civil unrest. And for your information, my name isn't little Miss Feisty. It's Susha. Please, miss, allow Arum Ali Merchant Guild to take care of this matter. You're from the Merchant Guild? What a joke! You people can't take care of anything! Everyone here knows that our Room Alley Merchant Guild is as incompetent as it is dysfunctional. The lease for the docks isn't even paid yet. Anyone care to guess whose fault that is? I'll tell you, the Merchant Guilds! I'm not denying that. Then say it out loud so everyone can hear! Our Room Alley Merchant Guild apologizes to every vendor here for defaulting on the lease and leaving us to pick up the mess. Better yet, get down on your knees and beg for forgiveness! I agree. Uh, you're being completely unreasonable! Why can't we talk this over? I'm not being unreasonable. I'm making a friendly inquiry. When will the IPC receive its lease payments? I'm afraid we can't pay at the moment. We leased this whole dock to your merchant guild, hoping that it would rejuvenate our room alley. And look at it now. A perfectly good freight dock has gone to waste. They said, at the moment. That doesn't mean they'll never make the payments, right? Ah, <laughs> don't be so gullible. How about we make a little bet? If the Merchant Guild can pay back the money it owes, I'll get down on my knees and apologize to all the people of our room alley. I'll shout it loud and clear. I'm a raving idiot howling into the wind! And then I'll bark like a dog. How does that sound? Okay. And if they can't? Oh, that's simple. You apologize to me in front of all the people of our room alley, and you bark like a dog. that, right? I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. Miss, there's no reason for you to take such a bet. We're the ones who dragged you into this. It's okay. Seeing that arrogant sneer on his face made me sick to my stomach. I had to do something. We appreciate you sticking up for us. Um, but this... Now that I think about it... If I lose the bet, it'll reflect badly on the Cloud Knights. But you can't give in to bullies! He's the one who'll be barking like a dog! My name is Ming Shi. I'm the secretary of Arum Alley Merchant Guild. Most people just call me Miss Secretary. This leasing dispute is between the IPC and the Merchant Guild. You shouldn't have been dragged into it. me 
who accepted the bet. You're not involved at all. So, is it true that the Merchant Guild can't pay back the lease? Uh, Miss Secretary, just tell it like it is. As things stand now, the Merchant Guild is in no position to pay back the lease. If we make the businesses more profitable, then maybe we have a chance of paying back the IPC. If we cut costs and tap into new revenue streams, we can turn things around. A lot of vendors in Aromali don't want anything to do with the dock, though, so it may be hard to find new sources of revenue. What about cutting costs? Cutting costs means reducing expenses. As you can see, the dock isn't even fully utilized, and the workers... well... Uh, hey, hey, hey! Don't get any funny ideas about laying people off! Miss Secretary is just helping us think of ideas. Uh, if you ask me, I think our ordering system is rather inefficient. I'm sure we could reduce our costs if we found a way to improve it. I didn't realize you were such an entrepreneur. Even the president hasn't been able to solve anything. Is this short lifer really up to the job? Uh, at this point, I guess we've got nothing to lose. on shipping costs. Isn't this a little unsafe? Don't worry. Our motto is safety first.
happened to you? Uh, impressive, but uh, if you ask me, inventory efficiency isn't enough to save us. If Heron Express doesn't deliver the goods, then they're just gonna sit around collecting dust. I see your point. If you have the time, could you accompany me to Heron Express's Arum Alley branch office? Of course. It's just... I'm better with brawn than brains. Looks good. Mr. Yongfeng? Why, it's Miss Secretary. And who do we have here? I'm Su Shang of the Cloud Knights. I think you already know the little girl with horns on her head. And this is... Good to meet you all. Uh, Miss Secretary, I heard you made a bet with the IPC. And if you lose, you have to bark like a dog? The word got out pretty quickly, huh? <sighs> Those outworlders from the IPC are the worst. How did you get bogged down with them? Right. And if the Merchant Guild pay back what they owe, the only one barking will be that IPC stooge. We made our inventory more efficient. But the dock workers said we still need a way to distribute the goods. I was wondering if Heron Express would be interested? Those dock workers don't want to take responsibility. And I'm afraid it's not our responsibility either. Then who should we blame? The IPC? The IPC said that they would handle operations at Aram Alley, and promised to give subsidies to the vendors. I suspect they secretly told all the vendors not to use the dock for logistics. That's a good point. If we can't pay back the rent, the financial damages will be manageable, but the reputational damage will be irreparable. If the Merchant Guild loses everyone's trust, it'll become an empty shell of its former self. And without the Merchant Guild, the IPC will have no competitors in Arum Alley's business district. The IPC wants to turn this place into a big logistics warehouse. By then, the food hawkers and used goods stores will have to move away. Ah, uh, so no more Arum Alley? Correct. The physical space will still exist, but the Aurum Alley we all know, its fragrances, its bustling tourists, will be nothing more than a memory. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. What are we going to do about the matter at hand? On the logistics side, we can reduce costs by making sure the delivery routes are planned efficiently. Mr. Yongfeng, please allow our friend to try her hand at it. She has some skills that could prove useful in this area. See? She's a quick thinker!
With these routes in place, logistics costs will be reduced significantly. I knew it! You're the heroes who can help us revitalize Arum Alley! Now can you tell us what really happened to Arum Alley? Well, Arum Alley was originally the market in Exalting Sanctum. In days past, this alley, famed for its food and commerce, was brimming with Arumatons collecting goods for their masters. But that prosperity has long since passed. Restrictions were placed on civilian Arumatons, and new commercial centers began to spring up. It was like being on a gentle downhill slope. Everyone knew things were changing, but no one thought it was serious. When the Lawfu was moored for maintenance and trade with the IPC increased, a new threat emerged for the Merchant Guild. The IPC's announcement of a bid for the development of Arum Alley. Their promises were visible, tangible, and extremely aggressive. When the gentle downhill slope suddenly became the edge of a cliff, no one could pretend to ignore it anymore. Both the Merchant Guild and Arum Alley itself were in jeopardy. The contract for operating Arum Alley's business district is about to expire, and the IPC's regional director has seen an opportunity. They orchestrated the dock debt crisis, and that's just the beginning. Meanwhile, vendors in Arum Alley have expressed mixed feelings about the IPC. Some see it as a crouching tiger with malicious intentions, while others see the IPC's promise of high profits as a chance to turn things around. But now the chill is setting in. Everyone is worried that Arum Alley is going to disappear. The Merchant Guild has to do something to help the merchants here. Therefore, on behalf of the Merchant Guild, I would like to formally extend an invitation to you all to serve as business advisors in the plan to save Arum Alley. Excellent. Why don't you talk it over with everyone first? <sighs> I only came here for the food. I didn't expect to get tangled up in all this dock leasing stuff. Still, if you're willing to give it a shot, maybe Orm Alley doesn't have to disappear. True? I'm doing something right now! Persuading you to help us! An admirable contribution. I really hope you can help out. I'm not worried about that. I just want to help save our Mali. My home, the Xianzhou Yaoqing, had much closer ties with the IPC. Uh, initially, people thought they were just engaging in a little interstellar investment. 
But over time, things changed. Gradually, the Yaoqing's younger generations began to enjoy the immersion produced by the IPC's entertainment division. Once they started wearing IPC clothing lines, you could hardly tell if they were Sienjo locals or IPC employees. After their coming-of-age ceremonies, a lot of them aspired to join the IPC, to make it big. The architecture across the whole delve began to change. The graceful flying eaves I saw as a child became fewer and fewer, and the glazed tiles and fallow earth bricks gradually disappeared. Sleek, monolithic IPC buildings started sprouting up everywhere. Many of the Yaoqing locals older than 500, like my mother, will say the Yaoqing has changed. But they're not sure whether this change is leading to a better future, or if it's allowing short-life species to dictate their way of life. It's making everyone anxious. When I saw Mingxi being confronted by the IPC, I felt the same uneasiness. I've been around several lifespans longer than that stooge, but somehow I was still at a loss for how to deal with him. If our opponents were martial arts types, I could hold my own against them. But Arum Alley's problems aren't something we can fight off with a sword. I want to help the Merchant Guild. I want to help everyone at Arum Alley. Please, help me help them. What do you think? Will you become a business advisor for Arum Alley? Great. I still haven't discussed any of this with the president. Let's go pay them a visit. Miss Lian Yen. Please tell the president that I have someone who can help us with the leasing situation at the dock, and also bring Arum Alley back to its former glory. Well, seems like you have plenty of confidence. I'll go ask the president's opinion on the matter. Please wait a moment. Okay, the president trusts Miss Secretary's judgment, but the applicant still needs to pass a test. You must integrate Oldies Depot into the logistics plan.
The President acknowledges your expertise and agrees to confer management responsibilities accordingly. Aram Ali Merchant Guild would like to issue a formal request. Please help us emerge from this crisis and revitalize Aram Ali! Now that that's settled, please come see me at the dock when you have time. You'll be able to help the dock workers do the inventory, and help Heron Express with logistics planning. I keep tabs on all the goings-on in Arum Alley, including rumors and the latest gossip. If we can solve some of the problems in the community, it could help in rejuvenating Arum Alley. If it involves helping people in need, count me in too! Anytime you need anything, come find me. The important thing right now is to generate enough revenue before the payment due date. I'll be off to the dock then. Stop by anytime. Any problem facing RM Alley is also my problem. If you encounter any difficulties, don't hesitate to come find me. Also, I should probably ask, uh, do you really think we'll be able to pay back everything owed on the dock? You're the best! You remind me of a friend I made when I first arrived on the Lawfu. She had the same eagerness for saving people and the same tenacity for solving problems. I have a mission from the Cloud Knights, so I have to leave for now. If I have time, I'll definitely come back to Arum Alley to help out. I know you want to ask about the President, but I suggest you focus your energy on managing the dock for now. Don't worry, the President is paying very close attention to our progress in Arum Alley. Now that you're here, let's get started on the dock-related work.
Dear, what would you like to have today?
getting late. Where to now?
club when Ted is... When it's friends against trails, the money prevails. Club Quintet is a fantastic story. High Club Quintet is a fantastic story. High Club Quintet. Crosstalk Comedy 101.
buns are huge. Just a few and you'll be full. Still more work to do on the Aramali revival. The dock workers are always yelling, lay him out, before stocking the merchandise. It scares me to death every time.
Regardless of the IPC's wish, my colleagues from the Merchant Guild Accounting Department want me to remind you that we haven't met our revenue target for this phase yet.
I have something to tell you. We achieved our revenue goal for this quarter. This is all thanks to you two. Not to mention the merchants of Arum Alley. The Merchant Guild promises that we will use the money where it is meant to be spent. No disappointments. The funds will be used for the overall repair and upgrade of the dock. Which means we won't be able to use the dock's shipping logistics for a while.